Okay guys, um, so this is a piece I wrote actually, and I called it Grade 3 Technology. Um, it's not done yet, and in fact this is just my rough draft. I've only written it, and then I read through it one time, but I haven't made any corrections on it. Okay, there are a few spelling errors in here, just like what happens when we, when we write. There's spelling errors. There may be even grammar mistakes that I haven't noticed yet. Um, so if you guys notice any of those, you can, you can let me know. Uh, you'll see this, I, I made the font bigger, um, so it kind of takes up the whole page, so it's easier to read. But this is actually a paragraph, and you can see that it's a paragraph, because I left this space here. Okay, you see that space right at the beginning? That, I mean, obviously my two fingers don't fit there, because when it's typed, it's not two fingers. It's usually just one finger, um, or just the tab key when we're typing. Uh, the reason I'm sharing this with you today is because this is actually what we're doing in our classroom, um, and in fact we're doing it right now. Um, so I want you to listen. This is about the, the technology and making the classroom videos that we're making. Uh, I was asked to write something, write a little paragraph actually, um, about the videos that we're using in our classroom. Um, so that you can review them at home, to get extra help, or in case you're not here, you can just go on and watch them. Um, and that kind of technology is called asynchronous video technology. It's asynchronous, which means it it's, can, be, can be done anytime. I don't have to be live in front of my camera for you to watch the videos. Okay? I just put them on the website. So I'm going to read this to you, and then I'm going to let you take a look at it in your groups. And... What are the two things we were working on last week? Uh, the two things we've been focusing on actually the past couple of weeks. Tell me one thing, please. Video. Well, we've been focusing on videoing. How about in our reading and our writing? What have we been focusing on? Uh, yes? Paragraphs. Okay, paragraphs. And what does a good paragraph have? What does a good paragraph have? Uh, tell me one thing. Okay, we need to have a main idea. And what's another thing that a good paragraph has? Main idea and who can tell me another thing? Yes? Okay, supporting details. So hopefully in my paragraph you will find a main idea and supporting details. Now, um, I'm going to read this paragra paragraph aloud to you. Uh, if you notice spelling errors, or if you notice gra grammatical errors, just save them for when you're working in your group and you guys can work on them together. Um, now I'm going to tell you, I, I just wrote this, you know, so anybody can read it. Okay, some of the words might be tricky for you, some of them might be easy for you. Um, but I am going to be available to come around and help explain words you're not sure of. Okay, so don't, don't let that worry you if you hear a lot of words in here that you've never heard before. Okay, this is a great way for you to learn new vocabulary, especially because um, this is what you're doing. This is what you're doing in our classroom. Okay, this is what we're doing together. So, this is called Grade 3 Technology by Miss Dunton, which is me. Alright, um, keep your ears out for what the main idea is. Uh, remember where we usually find those? Who can tell me where we usually find the main idea? Yes? Yep, yeah, usually around the beginning and around the end. You'll find main ideas. Um, and how about supporting details? Where we, do we usually find those? Yes? In the middle. Okay, in the middle. All right, so listen up. Grade 3 Technology by Miss Dunton. We are using asynchronous video technology in Grade 3. I have been using this technology effectively in my classroom this year, beginning with recording math homework help and progressing to recording whole lessons. Classroom lessons are recorded using a video camera, and SD card. They are transferred to my laptop and then posted to my YouTube channel, which is linked to my school webpage. The lessons may be viewed by students who are absent or students who need to review the material. This can be done either at school or at home. Students may review it multiple times and for any period of time. There is no cost associated with doing this and it only takes a little extra time to transfer and upload videos. Most recording is done by students, creating a circumstance where every student has an equal opportunity to become familiar with technology. 
students are trained how to use the equipment, how to teach others to use it, and how to focus on key aspects of each lesson, what is being written or read, for example. This also allows students to really focus on and pay attention to each lesson. In addition, it creates a running video record of our year together. This type of technology saves parents from searching the internet for other ways to help their child with something they don't understand. It also allows children to view their teacher even after school is finished. Students are more likely to be willing to watch a subject area video created by their teacher rather than that of someone they do not know. I want to continue looking for effective ways to use asynchronous video technology in my classroom. Okay. So that's, this is quite a long paragraph, actually, um, and there may be even places I could break it up. I might even be able to make two paragraphs out of it, but I want you to take this and kind of see what you think, okay? I want you to look for uh, what, what the main idea is, and I want you to look for supporting details, okay? And I'm going to be coming around and chatting with you a little bit after you've had a chance to read through it together, okay? Um, and I'll give you a chance to ask any questions, um, and if there's anything you think might make this better, or if there's anything you think I left out, you can let me know that too.